Uh, you might remember this story we've been covering for you here. Fed up neighbors in Ocean View Hills who've been trying to get a hoarder house cleaned up for more than a decade say finally they are seeing some action. CBS 8's Kelly Hesedal is working for you. Kelly, you were out there Monday and saw the woman who lives in that home get into a confrontation with a neighbor. What's happened since then? Well, I can tell you that neighbors say they have felt this past couple of days something that they haven't felt in a long time, which is hope. Yesterday, the city attorney's office, as well as code enforcement, as well as police, paid a visit to the property. Plain clothes, badges, and five police officers. So they came here, um, tried to get to her front door, and um, it is a filthy pigsty over there. She wouldn't come out. And here is a video as investigators were at that property along Mariner Drive yesterday. Uh, Eddie Mead, the next door neighbor, uh, says he couldn't believe the response he's seen since CBS 8 aired this story Monday. Now, this is something he says the neighbors have been dealing with for almost 15 years. And to see action taken so quickly, he says he was stunned. Now, I've been continuing to look into the history of this property. I've been on the phone with the city attorney's office, talking with the city council. I've been emailing back and forth with the city, trying to find out how this situation has been allowed to go on as long as it has. Court documents reveal since 2009, there have been dozens and dozens of interactions between code enforcement and the property owner, Lisa Golden. In 2021, the court did something pretty serious. They appointed a receiver to the property, meaning an outside entity took it over cleaned it up, got it up to code, but neighbors say since then it's ended up back the way that it started. So I spoke to that receiver today, Richardson Griswold, and he told me they're prepared to do whatever the judge orders. A court hearing is scheduled for the end of the month. We don't represent either side. We don't advocate for either side. Um, we're simply there to carry out the orders of the courts. Because you aired everybody in the county of San Diego plus saw what was going on here, and for some magical little reason, there was a reaction within hours. And, um, you know, and I, and I will say that without you, without Eric, without Channel 8, nothing would have happened. And the city attorney says code enforcement documented evidence at the property yesterday. Mara Elliott sent me a statement that reads in part, quote, the current situation is clearly unacceptable and our goal of restoring the quality of life in this neighborhood has not been met. The city attorney's office will continue its fight to ensure that the nuisance and illegal conditions we've observed at this property are eliminated. Now back out here live, I will say that CBS 8 has been in touch with that property owner, Lisa Golden. Uh, she continues to maintain that the reason her house looks the way it did is because it was damaged back in 2021 after the contractors went in to clean it up. Uh, so we are going to be following that court date at the end of the month, the March 29th hearing. Uh, we will be there and let you know what happens. Heather and Carlo. We can uh, surely appreciate your coverage on the story, Kelly. I do want to ask you this about that hearing at the end of the month. Who is expected to be there and will something, if anything at all, be decided? So I do know that the receiver of the property is going to be there. Uh, the bank that uh, Golden has a mortgage with, I'm told a representative will be there as well. Uh, possibly uh, Golden herself or maybe her attorney is going to be there representing her and as well as neighbors. You know, neighbors say that they're going to show up and have evidence showing that things there haven't been good uh, since code enforcement went in there the last time. So. As for what could happen, a judge could do all kinds of things. He could tell the receiver, hey, go back in there, start this whole process all over again that happened in 2021, clean it up. Uh, it's possible he could appoint a different receiver. We just don't know. So we will certainly stay on top of this and let you know what happens. Yeah, we'll be following up. Kelly Hesedal reporting live for us. Thanks, Kelly.